Okay guys, now I have Mozzie. I'm done with Miggy. I had to get him done. He was sick of taking forever. Now I have Mozzie and I already did his back. Let's see if I can get him to stand up. His sides, his neck area. And now I'm gonna do the top of his head. Let's see if I can move this table. What I'm gonna on the top of the head. This is the only place I go against the way the hair grows. Everything else is the way the hair grows. Mozzie's very scared. He's um, the one, when I just had him for a while, he went to the groomers all the time. I don't know, he, he's so scared. I don't know, just being at the groomers made him so skittish or what, but he still shakes every time I groom him. All right. Start the top of the head. Like I said, I go against the hair on this. I start from the back, kind of where the ear is, and go forward. To the, um, wherever you want your eyebrow to start. Careful not to cut your eyebrow off. And I kind of angle in where the eyebrow is. Oh, and some of the hair off. Okay, sorry about that. Camera died. Um, so I got all this shaved on top. Now some dogs will let you do this between the eyebrows. And some won't. They don't. Just got to do uh, work with scissors. Just kind of hold the beard. It don't hurt them. I'd love to get a small pair of trimmers. Just cleaning up in between the eyebrow. Being careful not to cut the eyebrow. Do on the side, careful around their ear. I'm going to do on the side of his face, I'm going to go to the line I want, which is kind of right where the eye bone is, down. Kind of lifting up. And then I'll blend that in later so it isn't such a line. Okay, let me get my camera. Okay, as you can see, I got up here done. Now there's a definite line here. I'm gonna blend that in later. But I got all this nice and blended in on the top of its head to where I want his eyebrows. You can see the line there that'll get blended later. But that's the top of the head. Look at that face. You hate getting groomed, don't you? Don't you? <laughs> All right, I'll show you how to do this part now. Okay, this part um, between the nose here and by the eye, I kind of brush the hair up around the eye and then I take my scissors and I come down at an angle. I kind of want it sticking up a little so you can get the hair. And I just go down just a little bit. It's kind of hard to show on camera. I'll have to show you when I'm done. I do not shave the top of their noses. I only shave to right about here with the clipper.
and I cut the rest with my scissors or my thinning shears. Done. Not he hates around his eyes. I don't blame him. I'm gonna check it. See if you gotta fix anything, which I do. Okay. Let me get my camera again. Okay. Did around the eyes. Not that perfect, but hey. It's done. And then I'll take, let's see if I get him to put his head down. See right here where you can kind of see where it's like really a straight line. I'll take my thinning shears, these right here. And these help so you don't have such a straight across cut. So I'll use my thinning shear. Oop. <laughs> He's like, no. My thinning shears across there. Um, right there by the eye. And um, make it so you can't see that line is noticeable. Thinning shears are great for the eyebrows too if you don't want it totally straight and to thin the eyebrows out a little bit. Okay, to blend in, um, I just cut his eyebrows and totally forgot to turn the camera. Um, basically the eyebrows, I just brush them forward, take my scissors and kind of at an angle starting from the top of the nose, an angle, cut to the sheep you want. People do them shorter, longer. Um, I just keep mine, let's see here. How about that length? I totally forgot to videotape it. Next time I groom, I'll have to um, <laughs> videotape it. I totally forgot. I just got in the swing of cutting, and there you go. So I take my thinning shears. These are thinning shears. And I don't think I said in any of the other videos um, I, uh, for grooming that you should really invest in a good pair of thinning shears and scissors. It makes life so much easier if you have a good sharp pair of uh, scissors and thinning shears. But where that line was, I'm just going to kind of pull the hair forward a little. Take my thinning shears and kind of clip and go down. You kind of keep going down as you go. And it just takes out just a little bit of hair. It's just so you don't have that straight um, line. It blends it in a little bit more. Like here. I'm going to push it forward a little. Kind of go down as you're cutting. And it blends that hair in. So you don't have that straight line. I know a lot of people will, they shave like everything right here under the eye. And then in the front, they just have this big boof um, of a beard. And and they shave the top of the nose. I do not shave the top of the nose. I only go to right about here uh, when I shave. But that, and let me see if I can get this, is how you make it so there's not such a predominant uh, line. I hope you guys saw that. Um, of their beard. And then up here which I already did too. The top lip, I trim the hair here so it's not in their mouth so much. Um, the beard, I just comb down, whoop, and I just trim a little. I don't keep a real long um, beard on them. And I just kinda even it out and I just play with it till I get the look I want. Let me get the camera. There you go. Let's see if I can show you the kind of the thinning shears blend that line in. So there's not such a straight line there by the beard. And like I was saying, I trim up this top lip. It looks like it's a little bit uneven. They move like crazy when I do that <laughs> um, of their lip. But... So there's Mozzie's face and eyebrows that I totally forgot to record. Mozzie, you're almost done. You're almost done. Yes, you are. <laughs> so that was the head, the eyebrows I forgot to film, and then thinning, the side, blending in the sides of the beard. 
of the face and the beard. See you guys in the next video. Okay, I got Marley here since I forgot to videotape me doing um, Mozzie's eyebrows. What I do is I brush them all forward and then I take my scissors at an angle and cut them to the length I want. See if I can do this holding the camera. Please don't move, Marley. <laughs> cut them to the length you want. You kind of, kind of like, it goes this way, like from the bridge of their nose up to their tip of their ear. Okay. If you do that, this side I always kind of start from the back. Good boy, Marley. Sorry, I'm tickling your ear. I'm sorry. Marley's a good doggy to groom. He don't move around that much. So you just kind of get them to where you want them. How long you want them. And then sometimes I'll take my thinning shears. I haven't groomed his head. I haven't done anything on Marley yet. Um, I just blow dried them. I'll thin out the eyebrows a little so it's not so straight or if they're really bushy. Um, but that's all you do. It just takes a little patience. You get them to where you want them. A lot of people have them really long. I don't like mine really long. I don't like it hanging in their eyes. There you go. That's how you do eyebrows. Okay guys, it's the day after I groomed everyone. And I didn't get everything recorded. I wanted to get recorded for you guys. So the next time I groom, which will be in about five weeks, I'll have to get those recorded for you guys. I'm going to do one more on in depth of grooming their face, um, under the belly, trimming the beard, stuff like that, um, the legs, and hopefully one on cutting toenails. So I hope you guys like what I got videotaped so far. And if you have any comments, leave them in the comments below and or any questions. I'll try to answer them for you best I can. And if you like this video, please subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.